The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. When others do not believe in the resurrection, you, the Christian believer, has a testimony in your heart. But we said last week that your testimony should not just be confined in your heart. You must give evidence to your testimony. That one will make it far reaching. It will be a major proof that you have been saved by grace. So there must be an outward manifestation of what we profess as Christians. We need to show genuine repentance. Now, so I want to dwell on repentance a bit so far as we being witnesses are concerned. When we say repentance, it is an inward change back by an outward action. So we need to prove our repentance by a changed life. We need to prove our repentance by a changed life. By our works. Now, now, I want to illustrate this from uh, the parable of the two sons. I want to illustrate the fact that repentance is just change of mind. But when you change your mind, no one will see what now, is in your mind. People will know what is in your mind by your actions. So repentance is simply change of mind. But it must be backed by an outward action. So people will see the manifestation of the changed mind. Matthew 21. Verse 28 following. Matthew 21 from 28. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. Now, I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will say. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. Jesus Son, go and work today in my vineyard. Then the son said, I will not. He, that was his answer. But later changed his mind and went. Then the other one said, I will. 
But he also changed his mind and did not go. And then the question Jesus posed to his hearers was that, which of these one did the father's bidding? And then they all said, the first. See, I want to say that they both changed their mind. In relation to the father's instruction. Or they both repented. In relation to the father's instruction. But the chain that was a departure from the father's instruction was wrong. So we can change our mind. But it depends on, on what are you changing your mind in relation to the word or in relation to the arts. That leads to death. Repentance is a call to live with fresh understanding and fresh life from God's perspective. It's a call to live. And it's a Oyame Efray and say, Yam Mamma Bobrebi, with fresh understanding. Ah, Yenam so enya in Tiasia, fresh life and quaff of Rokra from God's perspective. A free Oyame Fem from God's perspective. A free Oyanko Pong. Otherwise, we are always changing our mind. And this idea, da, yes, I try you know. People are changing their mind and leaving church and going back to disco. Nipa S, such a wagon and will free a sorry fee. But whether it is wrong or not, it depends on the direction that you are going. Because repentance is change of mind. It's to, it's to turn or return. And it say, free But real repentance, according to scripture, is turning from darkness to light. Turning from Satan to God. Now, so what you're on the family here, I join such an essay nipper or such an agony, every sum who about high home was such a wagon, every boon some affirm about Onyanko. So we are saying that repentance change of mind. And the Nia can hear, I join such an essay, or such a wagon is to turn or return. And they say, Oh, Daniel, where free Bribon and answer, what Daniel Abba. But in scripture, now so Tronimono, the repentance that pleases the Lord. I join such a that Peter demanded on the day of Pentecost. The repentance that John and Jesus preached about. The repentance that Paul preached about. The repentance that we are supposed to preach about. Is turning from darkness to light. And turning from Satan to God. And he said, Yes, such a agony, every a sumo abba hymn, and I say, Yes, such a agony, every obon sum chain abba a radin chain. Acts chapter 26. A small phone, you may a tea, a do no in Sian from verse 16. Yes, I see a few, you would do Siano. Acts 26 from verse 16. Now go up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. Na sorigi na onanso na yenti ana miyi me ho me kire wo se me yi wo ma ye wo eno ma wahunu yi wo me ho ani de wo be hu me ho no ho somfo ani danseni. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I'm sending you to them. Now let's take the big one, verse 18. To open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Now what we are Wong every sumu abba and hemu na we free certain to me as a abo nyan kopon and chain na wenya bonifache any a japa dear wong ah what de jia what jimmy a dear no ati wong hunu emu to open their eyes. 
and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of satan to god so that they may receive forgiveness of so repentance is a turn away from dead works these that are against God's standards. Acts that leads to death. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1. Hebrews 6 1. Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings of our Christ. And be taken forward to maturity and laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God. Enti Muma Yemfa Christo infitia sie and tre tre into and chain. Na yam pre and quadia a ye penumu na yamfa numa. So when we are talking about repentance as witnesses, we are talking about turning away from us that leads to death. So when we are talking about repentance as witnesses, we are talking about turning away from us that leads to death. From us that leads to death. And now faith towards God. What does the scripture mean by us that leads to death? What does that mean? What does that mean simply? Galatians 5 verse 19. Galatians 5:19. The acts of the flesh are obvious. So when we are talking about acts that leads to death, Paul is saying that it is simply the acts of the flesh. Sexual immorality. Now he's beginning to list them. So check whether any of them can fix your situation. If it doesn't fit, I will, I will supply you what will fit your situation. But when you are a Christian, you are supposed to have turned from these acts that leads to the flesh. So if you are still living in these acts, then you have to try and then repent. Sexual immorality. Impurity. Debauchery. Idolatry. And witchcraft. Hatred. Or time is called. Akaye. Jealousy. Fits of rage. A buffoo. Selfish ambition. A pre pre. Dissensions. Kunsun kunsun. Factions. Empape mu. Envy. Nitain. Drunkiness. And sabro. Orgies. A gobone. What I like about this scripture. Nia meni jimu ewa troi mu. Is the last part. And the like. And the like. So maybe we didn't mention yours. Yeah. But check whether there is anything like this in your life. And the like. I warn you. As I did before. That those who live. Like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. Full stop. See, so J.I. Parker defines repentance as this. Last week, I touched it, but I want to just remind you again. 
me kai wo kakra wo je ai pa ka se de osi kire adwen sa kire mu no now he says that repentance to us as witnesses is changing one's mind so that one's views values goals and ways are changed o se adwen sa kire ene se nipa no o se san adwene na owi a enum no nia ohun no ono ankasa normal ojidi ne ni so adi hunu ene ne bota ye nyina e be sa kire na na bra bo nyina asisa and one's whole life is lived different na na di ye ene na bra bo nyina so obo no kwan so nko so he said the change is radical o se san sa kire ye e ban po firim both inwardly and outwardly as we have been teaching wo emuni panimu ene abrabo ade ye mu mind and judgment ni pa no na dwene mu ene se ne obu no ma aten ho his will and affection what he entertains on the inside ni pe ne woni mu ene se ne osi etenka ana na tenka his behavior and lifestyle okay na di ye na abrabo his motive e no ma e woni trim ana se ne trim po and purposes are all involved in the repentance enne ne bota ye enne na de ye nyina no e wo sa adwensa kire when we are saying repentance is change so ye can say adwensa kire enne ensa kire ya i want us to understand that it is a change towards a particular direction we say me ti as ye say enne say ye sa kire akobota ye bi e ho what is the direction e hin fa ana bota ye no e direction is to the same image we seek to defend but i know any susuo anase nia biribiam ye bo modern say ye be gies na ye no as witnesses we want to defend christ ah see here adanse fo ye no ye pese biribiam no ye yi christo adanse ye no e kire and the change life that god is expecting from the witness is towards a particular direction na sa abrabo asa kire o nyankopon e hwehwe e fri o gidi ni ni ho no any a cop be i be and i said the direction is towards the same image that we want to defend now sa baby a adwen sa kire no e kire no e ko ade a ye bon ban and i say ye pese ye di ho adanse image of his son any christo ni su so that people will see him alive in you now my nipa who say christo ti ase e wo ye mu so when we are able to change towards the same image then when they see you they see christ so there is no need to argue that he is alive it is a what to me satra wadwen e ko sa su any ban ni mu a nipa hunu wa wo hunu say wo hunu christo so there will be no need to argue that he is alive when they saw peter and co the bible said they realized that they have been with christ and this one who christo e wo mu a wo nya chinye bia say christo ti ase e san say wo hu no petro no no wo kan say christo any one at an answer when you christo ananti i pray that this word will have a place in your spirit you pay him out say asemi e betena wo hu mu that as witnesses we are changing to the image we seek to defend so that when people see us they will see christ in us na say christo adanse fo e no ye betumi asachira afata christo ni su ene ne ban no na nipa hunu ye a wa ka say christo ti ase let's lift the standard mo ma ye pega sudu anim let's lift the standard for ourselves ye man nko soro kra wo yan ka sampo ya fam jesus said if you see me you have seen the father yesu say ni o hunu me no wo hu eja no now jesus is not here sabre yesu ni ha o if they see you say wo hunu wa they must see him as a see who no no because we are representing him it sounds like yeah yeah na name we see for and then we must be the exact representation of him na as i said it to me jina na name pe 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 the change that god is expecting to see from us is to be like the sun and such a yeah and again such a oh yeah me she she and you're free and what and they say you're better yes sir never know that is the image set before us we and it so so dear and i'm sure what they see and we must change towards his image i see it to me such a because he say you're better and become like him yeah to me i have said on second corinthians 3 verse 18 mommy and you're going to form homer it also me you know it's me and sir and you would do what you know and we all we all all of us from the apostle prophet to the one who has just converted we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory which comes from the lord who is the spirit 
na ye nyina ye de ye eni a eso da ho hwe awurade eni onyam so se wo hwe atwehwe mu na wo satira ye nko suban kro no aram mu firi eni onyam mu ko eni onyam mu se e firi awurade honhom no we all ye nyina as we behold God and Christ. Now we are being transformed into his image. With ever increasing glory. Which comes from the Lord. Who is the Spirit. So we should see ourselves as Christian being changed into the image of Christ with ever increasing glory from glory to glory from glory to glory his life and his image should be perfected in us ever increasing glory year by year we are becoming more and more like him and when they see us there will be no need to wonder whether he is still in the grave because they have seen him in you and on the streets. One year, ten year, sir, we free at the communion. We say, we be who know who mu. Sir, enam kwai no so. When we were boys, brah ya yam rante wan. We used to have this leader uh, who was leading us in the fellowship. Na ya wapeni biya yensi e mu no na se yungu no oda yanga no. We loved him. Yeah, don't know papa. Those days we thought that it was Jesus's uncle. Na brah no na e yensi. Oh, yeah, yes, we, we, we loved him. Yeah, don't know yeah. We loved his teaching. Yeah, don't in church, church. And then one day we were praying in a room, and then we saw this brother passing. Now that crow, yeah, bomb pie was then one. Yeah, who said down for you? And now, in your old trim. One of us, I don't know whether he has closed the eyes or what. He said, ah, this brother so so and so. Now you move back, you name so a cut and a new one. Because oh, oh, we are not an aircon. And we all came out. And you know, pee and you fear the. And we're looking at him. And not your best friend. We're sir. just looking at his back. Not your friend, a chia. And we're looking at him. Shannon, sir. I do mind this brother. Ah, near general. Oh, brother, so so. Oh, oh, that's so so. Oh, brother, so so. Oh, oh, down. Oh, brother, so so. Oh, down for you. So we left the prayer meeting and we came out, brother, so so. And the air bomb pine, your jump pine, or not your barn, your shed down for no, your near general. We pass. So people do not see God. But let them see the image of God. In you. Let them see it in you. The image of God. So he said we are being transformed into the same image. So what is the image? Now, so so when you were a pastor and you have been called to partner with God to build a congregation. God together with you who are shaping the people. So he has to show you the image that you and him are working towards. So you must know the image. Don't just be churching and just be pastoring. There is an image that your people should conform to. And they say, oh, you're so full, and you're afraid, so I know, but I'm a Juma, but my dear, so I'm a fool, and you're not going to be 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 a Romans 8 verse 20. Romans 4 18. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. And that is his capital letter. That he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Now, one who won't see, you know, where you won't at to one so say one send a banner so buying now why yeah and when you be more about kind so the image we are talking about this one you can want some no is the image of god's son jesus christ christ to know this way so that jesus might be the firstborn among brothers and sisters so what that means is that if you all conform to the image then jesus will have some brothers and sisters here on earth People who look like him. Your children, yes, yeny na yeny kuti se ya bese Christo. Na chese we yeny ni anu mukuma be brewa ha no aye abakain edi amaye. This should be our primary occupation. We as I say ya ya buta ya esumpa ya ni. And our foremost prayer point. Na debiara ya ya mpaibo. 
You see, our foremost prayer point is not God, give me a baby. God, give me shoe. I need a job. Oh, that I will be like Jesus. Okay. It should be our preoccupation. And our foremost prayer point. In Ephesians 3, verse 16. Okay, Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus. Let's listen to him as I read. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Uh, I like that one. That will be strengthened with power. In the inner being. Now listen. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love. Now Christ may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with the measure of all the fullness of God. Now, if Christ, you like all the fullness of Christ. Now, when you Christ to do a train, when you mono, na onyango pong ma yenina aye ma umu ewiye. Now he was praying for the church. Or bomb paye ema safuno. And I want this to be your primary prayer. Now, me pasi we aye um paye kind. That I will be filled with the fullness of Christ. Anka Christo mu amaye nina aye mema. Filled with the fullness of Christ. Christo mu amaye nina aye mema. So that people will see the resurrected Jesus in me as a witness. Na nipa unu Christo a wa wa sore no e wo me mu sa danse. Let's go to one of my favorite scriptures. Second Corinthians 4 verse 10 and 11. Corinthians 4 verse 10 and 11. Corinthians 4 verse 10 and 11. Now listen to Paul. Now listen to Paul. Now listen to Paul. Paul. Oh, let's read together. Ready, go. Kind of we always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. It's not enough to say me what Jesus or to me more. So let Christ who is in you be seen in your body. Smart for Paul said, Christ or who is in your body? Or say, that is the Lord Jesus Christ or the Lord Jesus Christ no, e wo ye nipadue mu enam. Na Yesu nkwa no nso adadi ye nipadue mu. Why? Because that is the image that God is fashioning us to become. It's hand so said, his life should be seen in your body. It's hand said enu ni suban a onyankopon esiesie yen amayase. Enti ni nkwa no esese dadi wade ye mu. He emphasized that in verse 11. O si sudua bio e wo enyimu tobacco. For we who are alive are always being given over to death. For Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. If we say, Yeah, yet, yes, ye da, ye soon, ye da, yes, soon, tea, we ye young ma, oh, woe, na yes, soon, quano, and so a deadly, young hunem, ah, a bewey emo. So, as witnesses, and to see a yard dancing. With the image of Christ should be reflected in our body. Then I want to say that we don't only repent from sin, we also repent from slothful, indolent behavior. See, we must be fervent in what we do. See, we must be fervent in our witness. There must be energy and warmth in our witness. So that people will know that we, we know what we are talking about and that we are passionate about the fact that we are witnesses of Christ and we will do everything possible for people to know that he is alive forevermore. Now, you want to say, Bribia will be decreased to one dance here. 
So let's repent from slothfulness. There must be fervency in our witness. Romans 12, verse 11. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual favor serving the Lord. Yes. So let's repent from slothfulness. Let us be strong on the inside. Let's keep our spiritual favor in our service to the Lord. The Spirit has come. To give us that energy so, to live a changed life. So, Our individual testimonies. Yeah, and the Sankra testimony Kwe. of the church as a body. Any asafo no as dancing to bail Jesus out. In his claim as a son of God sent by God to redeem us. Let me say again. Whether these myths and fallacies and conspiracies gain grounds or not, it depends on you. You are the primary witness. But I want to challenge you. Let us see Christ in you. Let us see Jesus in you walking at the workplace. Let us see Jesus in you at the marketplace. So that people will not have to struggle. To know whether he is still alive or he is kept in the grave. You are the primary witness. I want to challenge you. That from today forward. Begin to live a new life. Live a life with the consciousness that you are the primary witness of the resurrection of Christ. Maybe you are here, you don't know Jesus. I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to him. If you will. Just repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord. Today I have heard your word. And I repent of my sin. And I accept Jesus, the resurrected Savior, as my Lord. If you have prayed this prayer, I want you to know that you are born again. Join us in worship. Or join any Bible believing church. And you also have a witness in your spirit. And then if you manifest it, people will be drawn to cry. So may the Lord bless all of us. May He cause His face to shine upon us. That we will work hard. That Christ's life will be manifested in our mortal bodies. God bless you.